to my channel so basically today i decided to do my everyday makeup look um because i haven't seen any makeup tutorials that make you look like you're dead but so hot it's just it's rough it's you know something like that so if you want to look like you just woke up from a club bathroom floor and keep watching off camera i had just put on some moisturizer because you know it's one thing to say you're going through it but it's a completely different thing if you went through it with great skin so i'm just going to be using the maybelline new york fit me foundation that i've literally had since like sophomore year of high school i'm a freshman in college slight flex that's really gross oh my god there's like literally okay I put on the tiniest bit just because I don't want my makeup to look too, too cakey. It literally gives me so much anxiety when like Nikki Tutorials puts on this thick layer of foundation and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. In order to achieve the very dirty, you know, gritty, is you're gonna want a clean base, which is kind of weird and ironic. So you have something to build off of. I love like Cyndi Lauper, uh, Madonna, Courtney Love, all of those girls who like, they look so rough to the point where it looks so cool. I'm gonna be taking this color. Should we say any stories? Oh, oh my God, oh my God. The thing with this, okay, we gotta act fast. This contour, oh no, it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. Thing with this e.l.f. contour is if you don't blend it out directly after you apply it, it will just stay in the same exact position. I don't know if they made it that way on purpose to make people just like have panic attacks every time they put on their makeup. We want to look dirty. We want to look rough. We want to look like we're working in the coal mines eight hours a day, you know, but like still hot. She works in the coal mines, but she does it flawlessly. Now that we look like we've been, you know, through some stuff, you probably are watching this and you're like, I literally don't see a difference i don't know why but contour just looks best on me when it's a little bit heavier on my forehead everything i'm using will be linked down below so in case you want to like look extremely gritty and dirty you could also do that as well oh imagine i turned into one of like the iced coffee girls why isn't that a stereotype yet iced coffee girl you look like an iced coffee girl <laughs> Sorry about it. We'll take a little bit more of the contour color, but we're going to be putting it into the inner corner. Bring it all the way down, but not all the way down. We're like halfway. I like to do a half circle on top and then a half circle on the bottom. So it looks like that. I'm gonna be taking like a mixture of the concealer side and foundation side just to blend out all of the cream contour. So how are you doing today? Wow, that sucks. Anyways, back to me. Uh, I'm gonna be blending- <laughs> I'm just kidding. Vogue does those beauty tutorials and they're so awkward. The thumbnails are always like... And it's like... Uh, what? This is the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I can only show you a little bit because it is cracked. Don't even tap any access off. I feel like that's the big part about this look is when you use the bronzer do not tap the access off because if you tap the access off you're basically going to be getting a clean flawless airbrush look and that is a, the exact opposite of what we're going for although the rest of my makeup may look very dirty and swamp aesthetic I do love a good laminated brow. But what can I say? I'm a sucker for so brows. Brush all of your eyebrow hairs backwards at first and then brush them upwards. As you can see, I don't know why, but hair just doesn't grow there. And then I just become very, very light-handed with it. And 
and just kind of do like little bits at a time. See, like I don't even have much eyebrow to work with, but somehow I'm killing it. So if I'm able to kill it, you are most definitely able to kill it as well. Instead of eyebrow jail, jail, <laughs> instead of eyebrow jail, I put clear mascara. It really adds to the laminated effect. At the end of the day, when you take off your makeup, your mascara is definitely still on your eyelashes. And same thing with your eyebrows. I love to use a coral color and like really load it up, you know, just don't be afraid. I like to really add a lot of color, surprisingly, and just put it all over your cheeks. But when you do put it on your cheeks, make sure to like blend it going upwards towards your temple. Because if you blend it like just going across, it's going to make your face look very drooped. And if you're going through this tutorial and you're like, Haley, this looks so basic. This looks like a basic makeup look. And to that, I'd say you're right. But you're also very wrong because now we're moving on to eyes. It really varies from person to person. I'm going to insert a picture right here of a little chart depending on your eye color. Because for my eye color, my eye color is blue. So like deep browns or light browns. If you have brown eyes, maybe like deep burgundies or maroons will look better for your eyes. Go based on your eye color because that is what's going to complement not only your eyes but your skin the most. Especially if you're trying to do like a really cool smoky eye that doesn't make you look washed out. So I'm going to be using the Jeff... James Charles X Morphe palette. Definitely not a. I was gonna. Why is everyone racist? Like, is it really that hard? I'm gonna be taking this orange color and a little bit of this cream color and putting that all over my crease, just patting it in. Do not blend it just yet. It may look a little like vibrant right now, but just wait a second. It's gonna look really, really rough. Why looking like an actual sewage is appealing to me. The sewers are my aesthetic. Ew, no one, Pennywise. The sewers are my- oh God, you guys ever seen that meme of um James Charles? Oh my God, that slaps. That's good. Oh my god! Oh my god! That video was so funny. I'm now gonna mix in this light brown color and this dark brown color. But now that you've patted the color in, now we're going to be properly blending it out. When your transition color is kind of being blended with it, I feel like it just gives it more of a <gasps> kind of look. Ah, look. Anyway, literally everyone just clicked off. Taking this color and this gold color all over my lid. A lot of people are gonna be like, ew, you're using your fingers. I don't know why people don't use their fingers for their lid colors. It applies so much better, it lasts so much longer, and there's no fallout. Like, are you kidding me? Putting it onto my lid. <laughs> I'm basically just putting it on my- We're trying to look dead, basically. Death is my aesthetic. Ew, no one. Chase Hudson. Death makes, it makes no sense. <laughs> I feel so bad for my morning classes because I am so hyper from coffee that, like, I'm just- it's so awkward when there's that one kid who always reads for the class or like always volunteers first and then one day he's not at school. So you're all just looking at each other like, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of this dark brown. Brown eyeliners complement colored eyes a lot better. If you do have brown eyes, I would suggest using like a black liner. That type of smoke will like, you know, complement your eyes a lot more. Basically just gonna be doing like a perfect wing at first. And then I'm gonna go in with like a small, why am I holding it like this? Have you guys ever seen the way that Amber Scholl holds her makeup brushes she holds it like this and it's so uncomfortable <laughs> i love amber Scholl, don't get me wrong but like when she it's literally nightmare fuel that should be illegal but once you smudge everything out this is like the part where it starts to become a little bit more fun even do with your eyes closed you know it's like a fun game just you know 
<laughs> hey james charles want to collab <laughs> i honestly feel like i learned how to do makeup through youtube <laughs> Bethany Moda, Meredith Foster, Adeline Morin, or like Cookie Mott. Ah! A part of this tutorial is to get it, just stab yourself in the eye. Really just makes your eyes look super red and it adds the effect of like, you either haven't slept in four days or you're just really stoned. Should I become like a TikTok drama channel? TikTok drama channels are literally like popping right now. I start getting death threats from TikTokers. I don't get that. Like when people say, I literally receive death threats. Where, where are these death threats coming? from 17 year old kids going to be capable of getting away with murder that makes no sense unless you got like the cartel in your dms i don't really and then you're gonna again move it all up towards your temple it's like white shimmer and applying that to my inner corner Kaylee, aren't you supposed to look dead yeah but i'm also trying to look like kesha from the tiktok music video I was about to grab my water, but then my hand went to my coffee instead. I'm just a big coffee drinker. Fun fact, uh, I actually got this in Vegas. I never been to Vegas. I use this CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Waterproof Mascara. It, if you're gonna look like this, you need to like allow waterworks to flow but still look bad AF. I don't know why people film themselves crying. Like, when was that a trend? See that video of Charlie D'Amelio crying? It was like the POV uh, TikTok audio. Oh, my pretty and I'm ugly too. Girl, what? You mean people actually film themselves crying? <laughs> I can't believe it. See, I love doing this makeup look too because you could literally make mistakes and not even know about it. And then people would just assume that you did it on purpose. For highlight, I use the L. <laughs> literally look at this. It's, you know, it's brand new, just, just got it yesterday. But I'm gonna apply this to my nose and then the bridge of my nose, but not all the way. Not my side profile. Into like the crevice of your nose. Again, do not tap off the access. This is another thing that I do sometimes. I'll do it into the inner inner corner as well. So kind of create this like fox eye effect. Pat it on there. Don't blend it out or anything because the inner corner is supposed to be kind of sharp. Guys, I know because a lot of people are gonna be like, the fox eye trend is so toxic because it's basically Asian fishing, which I get it, like, it's not funny, but like, sometimes I'll be seeing people and I'll be like, how are they getting away with that? Like, how are they getting away with that? Asian people have been made fun of for like years and years because of their eyes and then all of a sudden just because it's a trend, it's like completely like okay now? I don't know. I'm not trying to change my eye shape or anything, I'm just trying to look like super, you know dead. I will go back in with the Hoola bronzer from earlier but take this like little flat brush and put it underneath my lip just to create like a very pouty shadow. Same thing with above my lip too. Lip liner and again just kind of like overline your lips a, a little bit. Bronzer that I applied earlier it literally just makes my lips look so much more full and then just take it and put it all over. So now I'm gonna go in with this tiny little bits at a time. So I'll put on a little bit to my top, a little bit to my bottom, and then, you know, go like that. Wow, I look so hot right now. Wow, God really took his time on me. Okay. Also like apply lip gloss if you want to. Um, this is actually a lip gloss that my best friend made for me. She actually sells these at her Depop shop. I'll leave her Depop down below. She makes like such cute jewelry and she sells eyelashes and <laughs> she sells real human eyelashes. She just cuts them off and puts down her Depop. I know how she makes it and I know that there's no like harsh chemicals or anything being put into it. She only puts like coconut oil, vitamin E oil, petroleum gel, like just anything that genuinely helps your lips and that's why I love wearing it because it not only is like a lip gloss but it's also like a lip balm okay so 
I just took my hair out of my braids and I brushed it all the way through. I have curtain bangs, so like there's some pieces that are shorter than the rest. So I will take the shorter pieces of my curtain bangs, not from the very root, only from the ends. You may have to do it like once or twice. Only the ends, like I never ever do the roots because the roots is like, you know, I don't wanna apply heat to my roots. That's like very bad for your hair. So like towards the ends, I like to curl them like that. See, like, look at that. It looks so good already. This side is basically done, but look at that. Like, look at this side and then look at this side. I do like exactly what I just showed you, but onto this side. I wanna look at you and think, who let the slut out of the slut house? <laughs> I love New Girl. I feel like everyone should watch New Girl. I swear if Netflix takes New Girl off, I will literally riot. I don't know what else I would watch. I'm already really pressed that they took Friends off of Netflix. I know everyone's gonna yell at me because they're like, friends i love that show if you can't tell already okay so i put in some earrings and this is the final look um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope maybe you learned a few things i was trying to like teach a few things along the way make sure to subscribe for more videos and also if you have any like suggestions on what i should do next leave that down below i still don't have an outro